Entertaining is stressful. Many folks may have just wrapped up those Christmas celebrations, now moving on to preparation for maybe the Razorback Bowl game yes. or even New Year's Eve. Yes. Well, Chef Case is here, and he's already brought us one great uh, appetizer idea, but now you're going to be doing another one over yeah. here, right? Yeah. I, I, one thing I want us to be thinking about before we get to the end of this show, <laughs> there are no good New Year's songs. Oh, are you going to write that? I think that you and I should maybe think about that on okay. the way through, as we make That's, our way. I'm glad you put that out there into the atmosphere. Maybe we could do that. What is what is the one? What is the one? The one New Year's song. It's uh, Old Lang Syne. Yeah. First of all, what what is that even? I know that when Harry Met Sally did the whole thing, but I don't even. That's, you don't even know, yeah. I mean, Christmas, Hanukkah, all of them have tons of songs. There's one for New Year's. It's a good point. You and I are going to work on We're that. We're going to work okay? on that. Stay All right, guys. Northwest Arkansas. This next one is completely, this is a beet dip mm. with walnuts and honey. So um, completely vegetarian, except that we are using uh, some, some yogurt to uh, sort of accentuate the beets. But what we've done is I've boiled some beets. Mm -hmm. uh, these are small beets. You know, and the recipe, again, you can get this in the Cityscapes issue in December or on their website. Uh, these, I've got about uh, six, maybe seven small beets right here, okay? Um, and now I'm going to add about the juice of one lemon. And this is, this is fresh juice. I mean, you were just squeezing this while we were in the Just squeezing this, right just, yeah. just a few minutes ago. Then we're going to add just a little bit of some, uh, just for some heat, some crushed red pepper flakes. Uh, and then this is what sort of gives it its body. I've, I've got about a cup to a cup and a quarter of uh, walnuts. Sort of interesting, okay. Does that really kind of root out the flavor? Does it root out the flavor? <laughs> yeah, the walnuts yep. take the flavor right out. You of... can't, uh, you can't beat it. <laughs> you can't right? beat it. There you go. Okay. All right. There we better? go. There okay. you go. Okay. I'm starting to get it now. It took me just a minute. Yeah. We're gonna add a little bit of honey, probably three tablespoons. It's cold outside, so it takes a little longer. Okay. Now, what I want you to do, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to turn this on. Right. The way we're going to sort of get this to sort of be a little bit creamy is we're going to add some olive oil to it, okay? Now, I'm going to add just a little bit to get things started. That looks like a lot of it. Well, this is a lot of, this is a big dip. This is, this That's is a, a good dipper. question. How, how many are you preparing for right now? Would this be for Yeah, this is probably party? for like, yeah, eight to ten people. Okay. You'll see. So I'm going to now, what I, what I do want to do is I'm going to take the top off of here, and I'm going to add, if I need to add more olive oil just okay. to sort of emulsify this, then, then that's what we're going to do. Make so I'm going to turn it on. Right. Now, while I'm doing this, I want you to spread a little bit with the uh, spatula right here. Okay. A little bit of the Greek yogurt right on top. All right, right okay. on top. Here, here we, we go. go. I'm going to try to do that. Let's see what happens. That. Now look how gorgeous this is. All right. Sounds great. <laughs> Sounds great. Sounds fantastic. Let me tell you something. You know what? Don't let people tell you anymore you're not an artist because you are. Okay. All right? Now, that's it. I did it. Let's taste this. Now we're just going to dip our, our finger uh, okay. in. Okay. Now you tell me what you think it maybe needs. Okay. Does it need more salt? Does it need more heat? What do you think? I would add both salt okay. and heat. Okay. Okay. But it's good. That's, I mean, I would also eat it like see, that. If it had been me kind of co-hosting this segment, I probably would have said it tastes perfect. Yeah. But now it's going to take another 30 seconds. All yes. right. So we're going to add the heat, which was right here. Yeah. Okay. Now, okay. Nice. What yes. I want you to do I'm always a is fan. take these crackers. Put them right around oh, the edge. Make okay. a little design here. Give me something to do while you make that noise. That's okay. right. Here we go. Great. Coco, get in here. Look at this. Look at that emulsification. Not going to do it. Okay. Here we go. They're more interested to see if I can actually lay these crackers so out properly. You can lay those crackers out properly. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the beet dip. Yes. I, I had no idea, man. I really had no idea you were so... <laughs> <laughs> now watch this, guys. We're just gonna my flavor this palette right on top. Oh, look at that! Right on top, just a little bit of the edge. Okay, and then we're gonna take some honey. Okay, and we're gonna garnish, just drizzle a little bit that goes right across the top of the beet dip, and I love it. The yogurt. And then we take some candied walnuts. Oh. That we did ahead of time. Now you're talking my language. Now we're, we're it's your love language, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Right on top. And then I like to just finish it maybe with a little more crushed 
cracked black pepper, that and then a little bit of salt. Now, awesome. I want you, here's what I want you to do. I want you to try this with all these components kind of together. Yeah. And tell me what you think. But this is a really great look. Can we get a shot of this, though? I mean, I just think it's perfect. If yeah. Razorback fans, look out. You got your red and white right here. This is perfect for the yeah. bowl or kicking off the basketball totally. uh, conference schedule tomorrow night. This could LSU. be the official dip of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Right. I'm looking forward to that. Here, you can do a little just like this, too. I get it right on there. Oh, that. perfect. Okay. okay. Moment of truth. Let me try this. Now, the thing about this, people that typically don't like beets, because a lot of people don't like beets because they're scared of them. They had maybe a bad experience with some pickled beaks when, beaks or beets whenever they were kids. This is a great gateway to get people back into favor of beets because, you know, we're adding some honey to it. We're adding some olive oil. So it's really sort of light and fluffy and delicious. And uh, so, guys, the beet dip. Absolutely. It's delicious, man. Get it's delicious. Root it out. Root